All right. Hello, everyone. It's your Bill Estate Agent, and we're here with another Shop Local uh, episode of my podcast series. And today I've got a really great guest, Rena Youngblood from the Computer Museum of America. So, Rena, you. Yay, Yay, you're here. So Rena uh, <laughs> mentioned how she's she watches uh, my my uh, shop local series, and I said, well, you need to come on because they are a great uh, shop local business here in Roswell. Yeah, learn something new every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, so uh, Rena, tell us about. Well, first of all, sorry, I'm gonna um, ask you your real estate question. Oh, okay. okay, are you ready? I am. I have a very important question. Um, when you purchased your last home, what was the m one feature you had to have when looking for that home? Can I tell you what my husband's one feature was? Okay, yeah. Born and raised in Florida, he wanted a basement. Ah, so everything nice. we looked at needed to have a basement. That right. was, we, we'd made it. So does he have a man cave now down <laughs> he there? Does. Yeah, so yes. he's all set. <laughs> I got it. Well, good. Well, it's that's important to me too. Unfortunately, <laughs> mine's all storage, so we just mm -hmm. have a bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, there's a little of that going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the Computer Museum of America. Mm -hmm. I've been there a few times for um, different events and, and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, and it's awesome. It's really just so interesting to come to. But I want you to tell us about it. How did this start? And, and absolutely, just... absolutely. Well, the Computer Museum of America opened in its location in Roswell, Georgia, five thousand Commerce Parkway. Uh, on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. So uh, July 20th, uh, 2019, we opened. Uh, I started with the museum in January 2020. Okay. Most people can count on their fingers and realize most everything went sideways just a few weeks later. Right. Uh, but unlike a lot of places, we really did just turn in and, and accelerate the exhibits that we have. Mm -hmm. um, so we probably... Um, ended up doing more in, in one year than, than we normally would have if things had been sure. the way they, they were supposed to be. Uh, so that was our lemonade from the lemons that everyone was tossed during that time. Um, but yeah, so we, were, we are almost four years old. We have mm. uh, gone from having one summer camp to 12 summer camps to this year offering 26 summer camps. Okay, that's um, awesome. We've gone from cold calling, please field trips, come see us. I know you don't know who we are and, and what we do uh, to seeing uh, buses pulling up almost weekly, um, if not several times in a week. So it's starting to happen. We've, you know, we've just been just getting through it all. It's, sure. it's, been, it's been tough. It has, well, but, it, but we're getting there. Yeah. And it's, it's been fun to watch because for those of you that, that didn't recognize the address, it's, it's next to Aurora, to Aurora movie theaters, yes, it is. um, in the putt-putt in Roswell. And it's, it's really, um, it was somewhat of an underutilized space mm -hmm. and it's really, um, fun to kind of watch it be being revitalized yep. and, and especially with um, a lot of uh, events and that kind of thing that can happen there too, because mm -hmm. it's such a huge space. And we'll, we'll yes. talk about that in a second. But well, so what was the vision behind it? I know um, Lonnie Mims, mm -hmm. it was kind of his yep. dream and, and plan, but tell it, us. It absolutely was. Uh, Lonnie has been a lifelong collector. I, I believe he was probably collecting without knowing he was collecting. He yeah. just had kept things. And, and when things came out, you know, the early adopter in him was interested and curious. Uh, he went on to Georgia Tech. He's an electrical engineer. The interest was still there um, as he collected started to think, what do I do? What, what should I do um, as I continue on? And, and, he decided this would be something that the, really the entire Southeast can use because we are the only one like it in the Southeast, if not the East Coast. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very different um, offering to the metro Atlanta area, which we're, we're really proud of. Uh, so it was his dream and his vision, and he remained so active. He's our lead curator, um, you know, helps with all the exhibits. I mean, he mm -hmm. works with our designer. He works with us, but we're all there uh, executing that vision that he's always had and yeah. seen for this museum. So. Well, and I do, I've gotten to hear him speak a few times and it is fun. He's yeah. super passionate about it. Very. You can tell, mm -hmm. tell he's really proud of it, which he should be. It's, yes. it's really, um, 
what I love is it's something different. Very <laughs> like different. Can, you yes. can do. It doesn't take all day, or it can, I guess, if you want <laughs> to read people. every. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's. Um, but it it is. It's really kind of a nice alternative mm -hmm. um, of finding things to do when you have people from out of town and people like in your house. That, that's that's exactly <laughs> right. A, you know, you don't have to go into town. Uh, the parking is free, which yes, is you know kind of a of nice thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit for everyone. Uh, Lonnie has always said, "How do we create something that's not quite the children's museum where you're." touching everything, but not quite the Smithsonian where you can't touch anything. So we've really worked hard uh, to strike this balance. Yeah. Um, and, and I think we're achieving that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so too. Well, so, um, so some of the events I've been to, we just had the Roswell state of the city, yeah. um, uh, meeting a couple months ago and, uh, tell us about the event space and just if, can anyone rent it out and Absolutely. What, what has it been used for? What oh, are some gosh. Fun things? We have seen so many different things. So, the State of the City of Roswell was the largest event, and we seated 450 people. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone told us we didn't trust the math. Yes, we put it on paper and it was supposed to work, but I'll tell you, there was some anxiety. <laughs> um, but no, everyone was seated and and not bumping up against yeah. each other. It, so. And it moved smooth. I was there, it, was, it flowed. Yeah really well it, like it, it did it, it did. felt pretty so seamless we were happy about that we've done a lot of um uh, mitzvahs bar mitzvahs bat mitzvahs uh we have done one rehearsal dinner uh we haven't had a wedding yet but right. that day is coming because we are getting tours and people thinking about it but a lot of corporate events um, and then, of course, our own events. So mm -hmm. we do our, our fundraiser each year called Bite uh, that you attended this year. And yep. thank you for that. Sure. Um, but it's a lot of fun. That's an annual event. And then we have a couple of museum after hour events. Um, so it's a it's a great space. It's, it's 10,000 square feet and just really customizable. Mm -hmm. So some of these party, party planners come in and, I mean, they just... They just transform this room. Yeah. I, I'm amazed. It's not a skill that I have. So <laughs> when I walk in, I'm I'm just super amazed. Um, so it's a really great um, large venue. Yeah. But if you got a little bit smaller group, we've got two classrooms that are a thousand square feet each. Mm -hmm. um, really great for small dinners, rounds, but also theater, um, board retreats, whatever you need. Um, we have another uh, entry gallery that's a great reception space. Um, it's 2,500, 3,000 square feet. So we, we have space, and, yeah. and the events that we're seeing are really a lot of fun. Yeah, and, well, and I think it's, it's nice, too, um, in particular for the state of the city, you had valet parking. And yeah. <laughs> just for people to have an option like that mm -hmm. for their events, is, it yeah. is nice because it is a, you do have a, a big parking lot, and mm -hmm. that was just an, a nice option for – um, it made it feel even a little more special. Yeah, yeah it was. Kinda. Um, but I agree. I think that that space is kind of cool to see the, the different events I've been to. It's just a, a whole... Changes. Yeah, it's very different A little different bit of lighting time. and a few different tablecloths. So, and yeah. <laughs> well, so um, what are what are future plans you know, as you continue to grow and the museum continues to, to grow? Is we just expand in that space or is... Are, are there other, is there other space in the shopping center there? That there, there is. Um, you know, we, our museum space is about 34,000 square feet. And then all of the event space we just talked about. Um, upstairs above us is another 65,000 square feet. Oh. I know I say no, no restrooms, no, no walls yet. Um, but we have a lot of ideas. There's mm -hmm. so many more exhibits that we want to, to plan. We've got all of these artifacts uh, in the collection that, are available to us um, and we can do small things but we want to do greater things you know sure. one of them that we want to do is a timeline of technology in Georgia you know starting with the cotton gin I mean that was a piece of technology mm -hmm. that truly changed agriculture but you think of all the technology that's been here in the Atlanta and Georgia area uh, that we want to highlight. We want our, our kids to come through maybe with their eighth grade uh, history of Georgia field trips. Nice, uh, nice. And they come through and they, they maybe without even knowing it, but, but they start to think, I don't have to move to California. I don't have to move to another state. I can stay here because this state supports technology. Yeah. And that's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, keep our... Yeah keep our folks yeah. here and and benefiting us. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, well, um, out of the entire museum, 
What would you say is your favorite uh, computer or, or exhibit that you have? Oh, you know, we, we ask that question when we when we do bios for staff. And, and, and my, my general answer is usually the newest one, the one we're working on, uh, which I can tell you a little bit about if you want me to. Sure. Okay, so we have a an event called Museum After Hours that's going to be held on June 23rd uh, this year. It's a Friday evening. It's a 21 and older event, so, you know, it's it's for the grown-ups. Yep. Uh, but there is uh, live music. Um, you can take your your wine or your beer. You can walk through the museum. Yeah, it just kind of gives you a whole different feel for the the area. Um, and then there's uh, bites, snacks that you can you can have. So it's just a, a fun evening. The exhibit that we're unveiling is called Punching Through. So we've always had punch card demonstrations once a month. Always a hit. People come in. They get to punch a card and take it home. But we just had not gotten the whole story together so mm -hmm. now the graphics are going up um the exhibit um information that we want people to understand that storyline is coming together uh so we're going to have a lot of fun that night and for your listeners we have a promo code so if you go to our website you can touch on museum after hours mm -hmm. and put in promo code bill bill estate and, um, and get right. $5 off that $25 ticket. Hey, all right. You're welcome. That's <laughs> awesome. That was very nice. Well, oh. Yeah, well, it's very good. And that's on June 21st? 23rd. Friday, 23rd. June 23rd. Coming all right. right around the corner, it is. isn't it's it? It's just oh, a few weeks away. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, okay. So we're, we're getting close on time, but I wanted to have you tell me a little bit more. You mentioned you've expanded to about 26 camps or 24 yes. camps. What happens at camp? Like oh what, my gosh! What do the kids do? Is it a week long? Is it? They're they're all a week long. Mm -hmm. Some are half day. Some are full day. Uh, we have this year uh, ham radio for kids, yeah. which is really really cool. We're partnering with the uh, North Fulton Amateur Radio League, nice. so they're coming in to teach this. And on the last day, you can take your your test and get your license, and they'll give you a radio to take. Oh, wow. So that's going to be a really fun one. But yeah. um, robotics, so many different uh, uh, things for robotics, uh, designing your own um, gaming character. Uh, so it's it's not all programming, but mm -hmm. lots of programming. Yeah. Um, but if you've got your artistic student who's thinking about some different things to, to do in that technology field, mm -hmm. um, take a look at the camps. There's a okay. lot. And what age ranges do they? Uh, 8 to 14, roughly. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, and is it too late to sign up? Or no, no, I, I think there's a couple that have sold out, but, but most of them are still have a few seats left. All right. And what is your website? Where can people go to sign up? They can sign up at computer museum of So okay. it's long, but right. it's pretty easy. So <laughs> computer museum of Okay, great. And yeah. then we can also find you on Instagram, Instagram, and Facebook, and LinkedIn. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, let me make sure I covered everything, but I think uh, that's all. Is there anything else you want to mention? I do. Oh, I do want to point out that um, you guys are a nonprofit. We correct? are a nonprofit. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nonprofit Very museum. And just so happy to be a part of the Metro Atlanta offering um, and just something so different for North Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Well, go out and support these folks. Um, I mean, it is, it, it really is a great, um, a great educational and, and just interesting thing to see. Like it's it's really good, and and support them with with your donations as well. Yes, and thank um, you. keep keep it going. It's it's really an asset to our community, and um, we're we're lucky to have you all. So oh. thank you for coming in today, thank Arena. You. Appreciate and it. Of course, everyone loves a little bill of state swag. So you Absolutely. you get your your party cup, your bill of state <laughs> shirt, and your tailgate koozie. So well, I'm ready to go have a party. You're, you're ready so for summer. The summer. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks again, thank and you. we'll see you soon. Okay. And guys, thank you. We'll see you next time.